talking stuffed bear? Hey, who are you calling a stuffed bear? I'm a pixie! No. <laughs> this is Candy. She's a toy pixie. So cute. Hey, what if I put her in the poster too? Huh? Glitterfuss, episode 3, along with Smile for the Cure, episode 3, and what in the world did I just watch? I mean, seriously, this is not just a critique on the Glitterfuss version. Did this whole episode, what in the world was this supposed to be? Was there, like, any budget behind this? Nothing in this episode made any sense, and even the animation was a lot worse than what I saw in the first two episodes, so... Sometimes it seemed like even the uh, writers themselves had no idea what they were doing and were just throwing out stuff in hopes that it was going to resolve the plot somehow. I have no idea what this was even supposed to be. It was clearly established that these two can aim. Like, this girl is a handbell player, she can aim. So, why? Why do they miss the attack? There was no explanation for that. But by far, the greatest failing of this episode is the character it introduced. Lily, come on. I just know you can do this. Listen to your heart. What's it telling you? I should quit? And, like... I'm so disappointed by this character because I was looking forward to Yellow. She looked like a nice, kind, sweet little girl. But as it turns out... <laughs> <laughs> this whole episode hinges on Yellow's personality. By which I mean the fact that she has no personality whatsoever. Yellow is um, a character type that I have chosen to call the hair. Called this because there's nothing interesting about these characters except for their hair. These characters can be as vapid and shallow and uninteresting as you want. It does not matter as long as you can remember that they have pretty fluffy hair that sucks up the face to a point that you don't even have to look at their empty expressions. Like, it, it's clearly shown to us that she's the best person at drawing at the school because all the people that she claims are better than her have no talent whatsoever as any person with a pair of eyes that works could tell and then for some reason yellow is a Pikachu no! <laughs> and I don't get this like what what does what does peace what does the peace sign even just the peace sign have to do with with electricity is it electrifying peace after episode 2, this was so disappointing. I was actually starting to enjoy the show. And now this, this is just such a backstab. But yeah, you don't want to see me ranting about how horribly disappointing this episode was in general, right? You want to see me declare which of the two versions of the episode is the one that sucks most, right? So yeah, let's move on. Oh jolly. Plot coherency, huh? That's not gonna be easy. There's not a whole lot of this in either version of this episode. However, I think I'll have to give this point to the subs. And that's not because the original version was especially coherent. It's because the English version, the Glitterfoss version, actively made the plot less coherent than it already was. Like, in both versions we have these odd flaws, like, no sense of where stuff comes from all of a sudden, like, oh yeah, also they already had glitter charms to begin with. Take the glitter charm that you've been given, insert it into the glitter pack, and say the words Glitter Force Makeover! You lost me a glitter charm, but I'll try! Insert glitter charm! 
yeah, we saw them in the transformations, but this is the first time it was really addressed that they are already there. Why did she lose the contest when her picture is obviously better than that other one? Did she just have not the right sponsoring? Do people at school hate her? Did these guys pay somebody off or are they just drug asses? But at least the original version did not have the huge problem that the dub had and that's... Say it with me guys! The dream from episode 1 makes no sense! As much as I like how many plot holes the dream solved in episode 2, I don't think this is going to happen again from now until uh, like the next 10 episodes because okay it worked in the beginning, it stuffed the plot holes in the episode 2 by making the dialogue seem somewhat more natural but here... So how do we convince the other girls that they're part of the Glitter Force? They're gonna think we're crazy. Maybe if we show them what the Glitter Charms can do. Lily. Hey, isn't she one of us? Shh. Sorry. No, it's just a silly picture of me as a superhero. Yeah, and wouldn't it be funny if you found out you really were a superhero? Emily, when are you gonna tell her she's one of the Glitter Force? When? The time's right, now get back! Uh-uh. In the English version in Glitter Force, it's now clearly established that these girls are supposed to know who the remaining members of the Glitter Force are. Yet, this episode is clearly implied to take place over the span of several days and all of these several days that uh, Yellow is busy painting, Red and Pink do not think to go out and go dry with cute green and blue. For some reason. This makes no sense, man. Why did they even add this dream in episode 1? Was it really just to patch up the plot holes in episode 2? Because I'm very sorry to tell you, man, but you cannot patch up a sweater by whipping on some new holes and taking the material that comes out to patch up the places that were whipped before. You cannot fix a hole by making more holes. So yeah. This made no sense whatsoever. Next point. So, remember last episode when I told you that the English script of Glitter Force Episode 2 was actually a complete and absolutely accurate translation of the Smile Pretty Cure Episode number 2? That was because Episode 2 of Smile Pretty Cure didn't take itself very seriously to begin with. They could easily make fun of it because all the jokes were already there. There was not much that they had to do to change it up. And then in Episode 3, Troy made a very terrible mistake. They decided to have the show take itself seriously again. Yes, I know. I pray for their souls as well. By now I've realized that this show works best when it's not taking itself seriously, because when it is taking itself seriously, like it does in this episode, it's just extremely shallow, it has no depth, no nothing interesting, it's just standard magical girl fare. It is a lot more refreshing when the show is actually poking fun at itself. Which is why I am very glad to announce that for the English script of Glitter Force Episode 3, we are no longer faced with an accurate translation of the original material. No, we are right back in Gagdub land, my friends! Be clean, be cool with Captain Peace and Pixie Clean Up. They're right. You'll never win if you don't try. Of course, you'll never lose either. You're not the big bad wolf. You got that right. I'm bigger and I'm bigger. I mean better. I brought us some grub. What is that? It's like Japanese pizza. That's right, jokes thrown in everywhere you can think of. The dialogue making fun of itself. It's just a hilarious spring of all kinds of stupid jokes. It's glorious. It's really, really funny. It's enjoyable. It's absolutely worth all the frustration with the plot making no sense whatsoever. Which is why the point for the better humor in this episode goes to... Unfortunately, this also led to... Yeah... As I just said, the script for the English version of this episode does not exactly take itself seriously. As you can imagine, it also does not sound like anything a normal person would ever say in their whole life. You wrecked Lily's poster! Yeah, and you littered right in the middle of school cleanup week! What are you, a clean freak? It's, it's just... 
everything sounds so stilted and in the Japanese version I was actually kind of horrified by how obsessed yellow seemed with pink to the point that she totally ignored everything that red did. <laughs> to the point that a red might just as well have not existed in the whole episode. But then again, maybe that's for the better in the English version, because in the English version, everything red says sounds like it came from a solar robot programmed to spout nothing but stupid jokes. You wrecked Lily's poster! Yeah, and you littered right in the middle of school cleanup week! Not so fast, you big blimp! Sorry about your poster. Obviously, that big orange goon has no respect for art. So yeah, this point goes to... Dub, why must you disappoint me so? We had something special, Dub. Something special. No, but in all seriousness, after episode 1 had such amazing music in the English version, I was just really disappointed with the music in this episode. It just sounded really bland and forgettable. And like, as much as I don't like the original version, at least the music was good. Yeah, it was just like a yawn, yeah, get on with it. Oh. Your right hand, just a little higher. Up like this? this? Whoa, 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 watch it! I'm gonna fall over! Nah, but if I do this, you'll fall over! <laughs> In fact, most of the time it actually sounded like the characters' voices were drowning out the music, like they didn't even want to show it up. Did the composer take a holiday that day? I don't understand. <sighs> yeah. In this case, point goes to the sub again. And now we have a bonus category. For the day I have chosen to... I have chosen to take... Today I have chosen to make the bonus category Stuff Making Sense. Now, that might sound like it is very similar to plot coherency and natural dialogue, but it's not. Because to make sense, stuff needs to make sense. And when anything your characters say to each other just baffles the mind out of you, when the animation sometimes seems very confused about whether or not it wants to be quality, and when your characters' words do not match up with what they are trying to convey, and when the way the models are conveyed makes you think that by all means these characters should not be becoming friends over this, then that just makes no sense whatsoever. So seeing how this problem is very prominent in both versions of this episode, I have chosen to deduct a point for both versions for this idiocy in this category. <laughs> so that's it for Glitter Force episode 3. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I did not enjoy it. I feel I wasted an hour of my life by watching it. If you enjoyed it, you're so lucky. Hopefully episode 4 is going to be a lot better. That's it for now. I'm gonna log out for now. See you guys. Later.